All right, give me a test, Muggs. Test, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've been uh, you've been low this past couple of episodes. I don't yeah. know if that's just uh, me not how about, how about riding now? you higher, or or like you like not talking as well, I got the yeah, I got the mic right right in front of my mouth. Yeah, in front of your mouth. Are you drooling on it? I'm just fucking gagging on it. <laughs> you just put it in your mouth and you licking it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I low now? No, you sound fine. Like, I see the levels are fine, but, but every time I l- go back and listen, it's like I'm way high, even though our levels look the same. Is that how the podcast is being loaded? No, because I fix it. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. But it's just a lot of extra work. So I'm just, but it's yeah. nothing like, it's not like your fault or my fault. It's just like I see the levels and you're fine. And then I go back and listen and I'm like, meh. Like, dick. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? You ready to start this, man? Let's fucking do it. All right, so here we go. God fucking damn it, Dave. There goes the last shit that I ever gave. Isn't it ironic? Used to be platonic. Then I realized I'm one over heels for God. Uh, how was last week, Muggs? How was uh, the week Wait a minute. off? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did somebody make that for you? <laughs> no, no, it's a TikTok sound. Oh. And I just thought it was appropriate this uh, weekend. Perfect. Be- this week, I should say, because yeah. uh, uh, everyone, happy spring break. You know, yeah. we, got a, we got a week off, Muggs. Yay. I mean. It wasn't planned. You had a week off. It was technically, I mean, a week off from the podcast, right? Like everyone yeah. got to reset and miss us for a week and be like, "Hey, what the fuck?" Take it easy on that, by the way. Dude, you miss us. did you didn't you get the thousands and thousands of of messages and emails saying, "Hey, where were you guys? We didn't get." I don't the think podcast. I even got half of one. Uh, yeah. Well, I got one for sure. I know, and it was from probably you. <laughs> it was like, "Hey, what's up? We're down doing this week or what?" So, uh, yeah, my bad. Um, it was a busy week last week. Couldn't do it. Then uh, I was gone for the weekend. Why couldn't you do it, Dave? Well, we'll get to that later, Mugs. I was at Coachella. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was at Coachella, and very uh, interesting. Hmm, yeah. Okay. I mean, why couldn't you do cool. it? Because I wasn't at Coachella. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's an all new week. It's an all new episode of Janky Town. We're back, baby, and we're back and better than ever. Lightly on the better. Um, uh, but I think very lightly. <laughs> we're recording this on a Sunday to release on a Monday. And Mugs, I could speak for myself, and I think I could speak for you too. Is we're at what uh, about forty percent right now? Forty <laughs> percent. What battery life or brain power? Uh, both because uh mm. I, my my uh I'm like dehydrated and Good. tired and Good. and you your brain power is uh what dude <laughs> What's I don't going even want to talk you, about it. What's going on with you? I don't even want to talk about it. Like I have I okay, I had my wallet on Friday last. Okay. I'm sure this happens to a lot of people, by the way, Muggs. So yeah. don't feel bad, man. Don't feel bad. I had my wallet on Friday. I went to yeah. Del Taco for breakfast. Mm-hmm. I bought mm. two bacon burritos and a Sprite. Eleven nice. fifty seven out the door. Right. Okay. I haven't seen my wallet since. Now, here's the kicker. Mm-hmm. I had a chronic tacos gig uh yesterday in Monrovia. But here's the thing. I was driving to K Rock to get the van, and I opened my center console and I was like, Where the hell's my key card? I usually keep it in here. What the F? So then I start to go into panic mode. And when I realize my key card is gone, I realize I don't even have my wallet. I don't have my wallet. And I'm like, What the hell? So I pull over for like, Two minutes, not even, and I'm frantically, like, frantically, like, just moving my seat up and back and lifting it and going under and looking in the back. Nowhere to be found. I mean, there is nothing. And this is crazy because 
I didn't even try to look for my wallet at that point. I was only looking for my key card to get in the building to get the van because I had to be in Monrovia by 11 a.m. But isn't your key card usually in your wallet? No, but it should be now. <laughs> Fucking should be right now. Like, I, if I ever find any of the two again, well, I hope I find my wallet, number one. Key card oh, can be losing replaced. a wallet sucks, man. <laughs> Key card can be replaced. Wallet is like, oh, you got to do like so many. Uh, you, oh, I don't even want to think about it. Anyway, so I didn't even look for my wallet until like to like I, I didn't even realize that like, wait a minute. I don't even have my wallet either. What is happening? But I do remember the last time I had it. So if that could give me some kind of a lead and I've also checked my bank account, my uh, excuse me, my checking account. And nothing has been withdrawn or used. So it's like, it's got to be somewhere, like, in some sort of crevice. Hopefully in my vehicle, which I won't find out until later today. Until after uh, you cancel all your cards and no, start to replace I, them. And then you're like, oh, here it is. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, it's just the worst. That happened but, to me after the meetup where I thought I lost my, my banking card, my ATM card. And yeah. I was in my car. It was, it was like, oh, damn it. Because I forgot yeah, I used it happened. earlier. I mean, that's like, like honestly, like I have. This is not the first time for me for doing this, <laughs> but the amount of anxiety that I've experienced all weekend from it is just like why it's fucking just. So I've been trying to like mentally block it out. Like, I mean, I, I don't want to drive back down because my car is in is right by K Rock and. It's, Kind of Out, outside the, the garage? Cause outside we, the garage, Because you have yeah. a parking garage, right? Like right, you, you go right. park in the parking garage, yeah. but you need your key card to get in or else you have to get right. a ticket and it's like $1,000 to park for a day. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, I parked my car in front of an apartment building, which is I, – you know, I, I didn't even read the signs. I didn't even read the signs. <laughs> Who knows? I could be towed by now. I mean that's going to be great. That's going to be so good when I get back to my car to like be all gung-ho to find everything that I'm missing and my car's just not even there anymore. Wait, how are you uh, even going to get into the garage with the K-Rock van? Because you still need the, the key card. The K-Rock van has its own key card. Oh, solid. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm still experiencing anxiety. I can't even talk. I'm still experiencing the anxiety from it right now. Um, and it's not in your other pants, some uh-uh. shorts. You know, I've checked everything that I've worn the last four days. At a lady friend's house that might have taken it from you. Uh, now, here's the thing about that. Yeah. Oh, That could be the possibility, but I've sent search teams out for that. And so far... <laughs> No, n- no conclusive evidence uh, of the latter. So, I mean, look, you know what I got to get? I got to get one of those little tab things that you put in your wallet. Like the, the tile? Tile, yeah. Tile, yeah. The tile or the Apple that, tag? You, you, something, are you an Apple dude. guy? Because they have the Apple tag. Yeah, something, yeah. man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Hopefully, hopefully my wallet is in my car. At this point, fuck my key card. I'll just get another one. But yeah, do you think the I, wallet could have fallen like inside of the seat or something, dude? Something, dude. It's got to be somewhere where I'm not looking or like because when I did pull over for that two minutes, like every minute that was going by, like it was like reaching to the point where I was gonna be late to the gig. So I was like, uh So I was kind of in a panic mode search. So maybe if I like take my time now yeah. and just like you know, I I know that like there's no, I don't have to beat any clock. I could t- just take my time thoroughly. I'm gonna bring a flashlight. I just hope like it didn't fall out of my car and like somewhere. But look, if it did, uh, no one's used it. I mean, I have it has. Well, it's Sunday. What if so you get back and like the wallet and your card and all it just spread out all over the street, like right there in front of of what? Like by like your door. By why where I parked? Where you parked? Yeah. Like it fell uh, out. It was on well, your no, lap because, or something, and it fell no, out. No, because I realized my key card was missing as I was driving. On the way to K Rock, so it's like, oh, so you already, but the key card yeah. wasn't in your wallet though, so you knew no. your key card was out, but then your wallet. I knew my key card was because I always keep my key card in the center console, which I should just keep it in my wallet now. Which, if I ever find the two or find one, then that's going to be the protocol from now on. But yeah, it's just all bad, dude. So mugs, I know that you said you were on your way to. Monrovia, which is a beautiful, beautiful city in the Inland Empire. Absolutely. Uh, um, <laughs> Actually, is it Inland Empire? Or it's kind of like... Uh, Hell yeah, it's the Inland Empire. 909, yeah, but, baby. 
That's the nicest part of the Inland Empire I've been to. <laughs> yeah, but you went for an actual radio hit, right? Like a gig yeah, man. opening. You're back. Yeah, I'm and, back, dude. And it was with Wee Man from Jackass. That's right. He was at Chronic Tacos grand opening in Monrovia. And like I would say like like there was 300 people lined up when I got there. Nice. Uh, and he was signing autographs all day. I got a free burrito and it was... Saw some K-Rock listeners, some K-Rock fans. Uh, Jenks to Destiny. I'm sorry, Jenks to Danielle, another D name. Uh, <laughs> she was the one. I wanted to shout her out right here on Janky Town because she Ooh. was the one that recommended where the best Ruben was. Oh, Free. oh, really? Yeah, Jenks to Danielle. Yep. Yeah, oh, so she showed up. She showed up. She uh, mentioned that, you know, she introduced herself. And I was like, oh, awesome. I'm going to mention you. So that's what I'm doing. And then, you know, a lot of people came up and said hi, took pictures, kissed babies, ate, you know, ate burritos. It was great. I mean, not not great. only the best Reuben, but like the best chips in the world were there. And it was amazing. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, man. Um, so you're hanging out with Wee Man. You hang yeah. out with Steve-O. Dude, mm-hmm. are you in Jackass now? Are you in the Jackass Dude, crew now? Dude, you know, they're just, they're just like, I mean, look. They, like just, they have uh, poopies brought, and, and... They got uh, poopies and Rachel Zach-ass Wilson are, and yeah. Jackass and Jasper. They got the new crews. So look, man, like I've done some dumb shit before. I, I could, you know, I could probably do <laughs> fit in well, right? You're like, I licked shit off a floor before twice. I Come on, man. I licked shit off the floor. I snorted Tabasco live <laughs> on a stream. Yeah. <laughs> And had a pussy fucking nose for the next two days. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> nice. Uh, but, Muggs, I, you know what? It's one thing that I kind of do miss is those uh, those appearances. Because I was driving by uh, Hollywood Park, and, and uh, I was thinking, man, those appearances were fun. Like, watching football. But then I thought about the other uh, casino we went to, the, the, the bike. And, yeah. And Guys Night Out, man. That was fun. I missed that. That was fun. It, it was fun. We get to yeah, play dude, poker so- with with the fans and yeah. and listeners, and 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 we then we would go to uh, King Taco with a couple of people, That's and right. and whatever we want from them, we would buy them uh, tacos. So so it was fun. I miss all those people, man. Uh, I, I wish we could do it again. K Rock listener uh, Ronald, because I don't know if he's a jankster or not, so I don't want to label it, Ronald jankster if he's not. But he hit me up on uh, I think it was Instagram. He DM'd me. He's like. Hey man, what's the next next uh, guy's night out? I was like, uh, <laughs> about that. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, technically they could do it still yeah, because no, they, they could, have you they and could. Omar, right? And what if? Yeah. They, and it's still guys' night out with Omar. Kevin Klein. <laughs> Klein. Yeah. yeah, I'm surprised they haven't done a guys' night out with you. He's a gambler with Kevin. Yeah, Klein. <laughs> right or not included. Hit up, um, hit up Carthen. Hit up Carthen, Dave. Do his <sighs> job, bro. Oh, dude, I'm not. I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm gonna be like, yo, hook it up for for Janky Town, man. <laughs> Let's have a Janky Town guys' night out with girls, there you though. Go. Like, you know, because <laughs> we're a top billing radio station, Dave. It's, dude, we're a top not billing uh, podcast, though. I'll tell yeah, you that much. That's what I'm saying our our uh, pick listenership right is just as big as K Rock's, probably. Man, hey, so. how dare you? <laughs> Hit the ground, Jay. we can get the check pop and that's a sound, Jay, Jay. we make your frown, Jay. go upside down, Jay. it's getting janky, we the greatest pound for pound, what up mugs, Jay. what up Dave, Jay. what up bro, Jay. what up James, Jay. what up mugs, Jay. what up Dave, Jay. what up bro, Jay. what up James, Jay. it's getting janky, it's getting janky, it's getting janky, I love it when we jank around, it's getting janky, it's getting janky, it's getting janky. I love it when we jank around. Janky! Town. But for the people who do listen to us, we thank you, all our janksters, each week minus last week. Thanks, Dave. Uh, <laughs> many ways to get a hold of us. Always, you can hit us on the jank line, 855 Janky69. Leave us a message anytime. Also, our socials at jankytown69 and jankytown69 at gmail.com is where you can email us. Dave? Yeah, yeah. So tell us, tell the janksters what was so important that you had to miss last week. Well, last week was Coachella Weekend 1, and I was lucky enough to uh, go help out with my uh, girlfriend's uh, projects. 
she has a, a guy dressed as a gecko, and he was hosting the, the YouTube stream for the live stream. Who is that guy? I've seen that guy. Uh, what, what, is that his deal? He just goes around dressed as a gecko interviewing people? Yeah, well, he has his Twitch channel and a podcast where he's kind of like Loveline, where he uh, his name's Lyle, um, it's the, the therapy gecko. And he, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, so he just like listens and talks to people. And people call in on his Twitch stream. Then he has a guest, like Dr. Drew has been a guest, uh, Denzel Curry, uh, Kenny Beats. Like he has some rappers as guests and stuff like Some pretty big Wait, names. you booked for him, Dave? No, 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 not at all. Not at oh. all. No, no. But I'm just saying these are the people who come to his stream and do Twitch. But he was one of the hosts of, of uh, the YouTube uh, Couchella live stream. And so he would come and interview people at Coachella. So then, but what I did was I helped him out with on the, in the field stuff. Like, uh, all I did was like hold a camera and like film them and stuff like that. Nice. So, 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 uh, I was able to get a badge and we went all three days and I got to see some amazing acts and get to be back at Coachella, man. It was, it was, uh, it was weird. It was weird, but it felt good. Yeah. Uh, what was the, what was the vibe? The vibe was party, and everyone was like getting along. It wasn't like, like, uh, it wasn't like it normally is. Like, ooh, who, what celebrity or influencer can I be seen with now? It wasn't like that. You know what's crazy? There was a lot of that still, like, and even more people like not going to see bands, but taking pictures like around the around the the art. It's just nonstop people posing for pictures, like if they're influencers and stuff, and and people taking pictures with roses and like every fountain. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Like, go Jeez. go see a band, dude. Go go get on the Ferris wheel or something, and and then post from there. Or, or but a lot of that was still happening. But everyone yeah. was happy, man. And and yeah. like I went to go see the Regrets at at two uh, p.m. on a Friday, and there was people just shit faced off their ass he like taking a little, little something something on friday and yeah. just being like it, it's two o'clock and they're gone and i was like man maybe you want to slow that slow your roll a little bit yeah but, since you have two more days to go <laughs> and lots of hours for friday but it was wow. so cool man and yeah, just being back and and being with the people and just walking around and seeing how happy everybody was, it was great, dude. It was great. Did you happen to catch any highlights or anything? Not really, Dave. I when I have FOMO, I don't like to uh, follow along. Yeah, well, I, I block it out. Sorry, sorry. That's just that's the way it goes. <laughs> so, Dave, the vibe was good, uh, and you saw some influencers taking pictures by yeah. roses or whatever. But did you see like, did you see like any like a listers or like somebody I'd know? Uh, I mean, Jared Leto. He was there hanging out, and uh, he was he Morbius. He was Morbius like. He still had like. His hair was still long. He had a big bushy beard, and he had a thirty seconds to Mars fanny pack. Of course, <laughs> um, but other than that, like it wasn't as celebrity driven this year. But then again, you see the pictures of who who were there, and then you're like, oh shit, all these people were there. But I didn't see very many of them um, because yeah. there were so many like daytime parties. Uh, yeah. Like the Revolve Party, Soho House, uh, record label parties. Did you it, go to any of those? No, because we were there early, uh, you know, kind of working. There was no um, Neon Carnival or whatever the fuck There that was is? a Neon Carnival app for af- after Saturday night. Did um, you go but to that? No, because I went to Tiesto at this random house called the Zanyana Zen- House or something like that. It's an amazing, gorgeous house. And it was just Tiesto performing in front of a lake. It was beautiful. It was well, amazing. I got to tell you, <clears throat> I got to tell you, Dave, like, <clears throat> besides like some musicians you've mentioned, I, I did, I was following along um, a little bit. And I, I saw like there weren't that many like crazy A list celebrities there. Like like Leonardo DiCaprio wasn't there this year, like hanging out. I don't know if he's like working or whatever, but just like it it seemed to me like it wasn't as celebrity driven. It wasn't, and I think packed. that's kind of why it was awesome. Like the the VIP section was insanely crowded had fantastic food but everyone was chill and everyone was cool man so, so it was it was it was dope um but not only that like some of the artists that that 
like I've been waiting two years to see Girl in Red. She was already on uh, the 2020 lineup, mm-hmm. so it's 2022. They still have her in the lineup. Her album dropped last year, and this is the first time ever I'm seeing her. And from what her album was to what was on, was stage, she wearing purple? Uh, she was wearing black, actually. So oh, <laughs> false advertisement. <laughs> yeah, but she was amazing. And then I saw this, and, and you know, part of the fun of Coachella is discovering people that that you don't ever listen to Uh um i was walking back to the vip and this mexican band goes on the main stage and mind you mugs it's the main stage it's in the afternoon and a mexican band is on and And they're speaking spanish and dave's like what is this nonsense (laughs) what is this foreign language i'm hearing (laughs) no because it was like they their their intro was was on and their intro looked like the the introduction of entourage but it was introducing every single band member and of course the mexican band there's like eight of them Um, Uh, so but then they start jamming out and they were really good it's a band called grupo firme and I, i don't know much about them but i know that when we were eating Do you know what that means dave uh, a, a dope group, right? Prime, I think, right? Hold on. Fear me. <laughs> Hold on. Well, at least Hold in on. slang. In firm. 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 Firm group. Yeah, but I think that uh, it's slang. Oh. Because Fear yeah, Me uh, and slang is, is like awesome. Fear Me slang, uh, cool or hot. Yeah, exactly. Chicano. It's a Chicano slang. It's hip, bro. It's hip. Yeah. So it's, it's a, a hot, it's, that's a hot it's, group. It's a cool group, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But, the, but they were, man, as we were eating our, our dinner for the night and watching them on the stage, they, they were entertaining and, and brought out a bunch of people and were, were fabulous. I didn't understand the hell, what the hell they were saying, but yeah. they were fun. Um, and so, Another uh, artist that I saw on the bill, and I was like, oh, I might as well check them out, was a guy mm-hmm. named Dave. I was like, it's Dave. I, I have to go see Dave, right? Yeah. So Dave is a UK rapper. He's huge in the UK, and he's like this grime rapper. He was so dope, dude. Um, and he pulled out someone from, from the crowd and said, oh, you guys think you're, you're fans? Like, like, can you rhyme this this rhyme? And this guy, he, they're like, what's your name? And he's like, Spike. That was it. And, and Spike went off, dude. He just like, he he did a duet with Dave. And it was dope. And that was like in one of the little tents. So everyone was yeah. going wild for that. Uh, and then the the big, uh, the big like surprise of the weekend was Arcade Fire. They played a, a, sun, a sundown set. A sun, oh, yeah, yeah. They replaced a, Kanye, a sunset. right? They replace who? They replace who? Kanye? Or, no, no, sorry. Yay? No, no, no. They didn't. No, they didn't replace them. Were they, they like a late edition? They were. They were added like the week of, because um, they only played weekend one, and it's it was such a, a pain. Like like it was so hard to get in. And, like I was running over there to go see them because they were supposed to be like a secret band, and then yeah. they they when they released the lineups, they put them on the on the lineup, so everyone knew that was there, so it was so crowded, so I'm trying to get into like a little viewing area, Mugs, you know which viewing area that is, right? Yeah, the front. Yeah, and right when I get to the front and I'm about to scan my badge, the security stops me and says, sorry bro, all full, all full, not really? allowing anyone in, and I was like, oh come on man, I'm just by myself not one not one person guy goes out i'm like can i go in now and he's like nope we're gonna keep it clear I was like damn it so then he sees my badge and my my pass and he's all like oh you know you could go around right and i was like well what he goes yeah, yeah just go around and, and you, you, you'll know so i walk behind the stage go uh go use my pass get behind like where everyone's working i'm just like doo, 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 doo. i'm just gonna keep walking until someone tells me to stop and i go around to the front of the stage and the guy, like, I, I go to the front of the barrier, and I stop right there. And I'm, like, in front of a speaker. My ears are getting blown out while huh. I'm watching the arcade fire. And security comes up to me. I'm like, okay, he's going to kick me out now. And he's like, hey, bro. He's like, hey, can you move in a little closer because uh, we need this area right here. And I was like, sure. <laughs> sure enough, man, for, like, about five songs, I was right in front of the stage, in front of everybody with the photographers nice. and everything. Oh, just yeah. wheezing my way into there, like, man. Okay, I can squeeze in here, um, and and watch the show 
for about four or five songs before my ears started to bleed. And and I'm not joking, starting to bleed. And I said, eh, I should probably go out now because <laughs> it was yeah. too close. But then uh, then I had to go meet other people and and uh, missed Arcade Fire, the, the end of the set of Arcade Fire. But, dude, it was so good to see them. They're so damn good. Um, yeah, and- it must have been nice, Dave. It must have been nice to go. Yeah, but for here's all of us listening who couldn't. I know, but here's what sucks, man. So weekend two is happening, right? And and Billie Eilish. Oh yeah, I know what you're gonna say. <sighs> this... I saw this. Yeah, Billie Eilish decides to bring out Haley Williams of yep. Paramore. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not mad that she brought her out because I missed it because oh, damn it that would have been cool yeah, to see because I haven't seen yeah, Haley perform. Mad. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But a little I'm, bit. I'm, <laughs> no. A little bit. But, a little okay, bit. Mad. Okay, a little bit. A little bit. A little perturbed. But here's what I'm mad about, man. They played Misery Business. Like, like, did they play, like, Misery Business acoustic? Yeah, they did. But here's the problem, Muggs, and here's what, here's what I'm bummed about, right? One, Paramore should have played Coachella a long time ago. And they should have. Have they I, ever? They have never, ever played Coachella. Whoa. So this was Haley Williams' first time at Coachella. Mm-hmm. So Paramore should be playing Coachella, right? But no, now they played Misery Business with Billie Eilish, or at least Haley did. And it's an acoustic version. But here's the thing. Haley has said that she was never, ever going to play Misery Business ever again. Liar. Because... <laughs> yeah, right? But I'm thinking, like, Billie, like, what? Did she, did she, uh, like force her to be like, hey, come come out and we want to do misery business. And she's like, I guess, whatever. But you know, like I'm bummed because this is also like Paramore should have been on a long time ago. You know, I'm a Paramore stand, right? I'm a Paramore, yeah. right? I yeah. still I still fight for them. And they're they have an album coming out. They're working on an album now, and they're gonna play the the crazy emo fest uh, in in October in Vegas. When we were young. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Are you what? going to that? I hope so. I hope so. Can you so. get me tickets? Can I get you tickets? I'll ask. I'll, I'll try. Cool. I'll, I'll try to include you in the ticketing. Uh, awesome. The uh, ticket ask. Um, awesome. But it, it sucks because she, they should be playing their, together as a band. They're a brewer, a Coachella. And then it even sucks because Haley Williams and Jacoby Shaddix from fucking Papa Roach both make an appearance at the same time. For the first time ever, it's not fair. She's way better than Papa Roach, and they should not be there. <laughs> God damn it. Well. Now yeah, I'm bummed. But you just cut your life into pieces then, Dave. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if you had a head, you would have a fly on it, you dick. <laughs> I still got to get that dropped. By the way, of things I still need to do, I need to do that, Dave. Yeah. And, you know, I had mentioned, I don't know what episode it was, but we were going to have our Juggalo Damien on. Well, he had some stuff come up with his mom, um, <laughs> and it's very, very serious. And that's why I haven't had, but I'm going to try. Like murder like, serious? No, no, cancer serious. Oh, um, that, that's not serious. That's a bummer, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's serious bummer. Um, but I'm gonna try, 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 try my best. He's in he's in L.A. for one more week this week, and like, oh, where does he live? I he lives in North Hills in the Valley. Oh, anyway, <laughs> you're like he's in L.A. for one more week. I was like, oh, well, maybe no, he's going back I'm, to like Michigan is. or Minnesota. No, he's or going something. back to um, Illinois. Oh, so he's in he's from that's where he's from, not North Hills. No, he's living in North Hills right now. And this, wh- the reason I wanted to have him on is because his story about getting over here from the Midwest is one of the craziest, scariest, like, creepy horror movie, horror movie stories you'll ever hear that happened IRL. It's nuts. All right. I just said IRL, by the way. It's <laughs> I, I nuts. Know. It's crazy. So I know if you janksters are – let's just – I'm going to put out a blanket statement right now. When you hear me tease something – let's say today or in the past, do not take it seriously. In fact, everything I say, just pretend like I never said it. What? That's not good, Muggs. Yeah, that's, okay. Th- th- there's one that. thing we need is to have our word. Consistency? We, okay. Yeah. If we say well, we're going to do something, let's do it. I know. I'm, try- I'm literally trying. I'm trying here. I'm literally 
Dave, like it, this is really like I'm really trying to make this work. No, you're well. Yeah. See, here's the thing: you're trying to make it work in person. You want you want to yes. you want to have it like you want us to get with him and be in person. Yes, I don't want him just to call in or dial in. I want it yeah. to be in person. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Well, that so, that's coming anyway, up. That's that what I have. Yeah, that's what the Jenkses have to look forward to sometime soon. Um, but yeah, but I, I survived Coachella. I came back. I drove uh, Sunday night. I'm pissed that Haley Williams was on weekend two with Billy. <sighs> I got a lot a of question, a dude. lot of surprise guests that they came out that were pretty cool. But uh, yeah, dude, anyways. I got a question. Yes, sir. What do you think of cell phones? Every fucking person holding up a cell phone at a performance. It's kind of, it's kind of annoying, but I do it too. It's, so, I so, know, but, it's but like, I, okay, but to okay. be fair, like I do it, I get my 30 seconds and then that's it. I'm done. Dude, people like just hold it there. Cause they're yeah. doing like a fucking live stream and you're like, okay, dude, like unless you're, unless you're fucking like 7 million thousand jillion followers, put your fucking phone down. So yeah. Annoying. I mean, it, it's crazy. They, I, I, I don't know what, what can be done because the video suck too. <laughs> Yeah, because they I know, suck because they're either yeah. they're like far away or like you know it's like just a picture of a stage. And look, I'm guilty, so I'm a hypocrite right now. I have done that, but like it, I just realized how stupid it is. No, there's so one stu- thing. There's one thing to be like, all right, you know, I want to get 15 seconds of the hook or something of my favorite part. And that's it. You know, and then a boom. picture, and then that's it. You're done for the day. But then people just keep like videoing and, video, and you're like it sounds like shit trust me like my video of arcade fire was blown out because i was too close and the speakers yeah. are, the you know the mics aren't set up for this nope ah <sighs> yeah well that like there's never... a picture on tmz right now of billy <laughs> eilish and like the whole front like everybody like everybody in the front row has their phone out it's yeah, fucking gnarly they're they're trying to get the the secret guest or get Haley or whatever but, They're trying to rub it in your face, Dave, huh? I know, motherfuckers. Um, but mugs, can we do some news? Yeah, yeah, Dave, we can do some news. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I, I gotta, I gotta put a little uh, warning because mine are okay. pretty fucked up. Okay. Uh, it's like it's really gonna ask up. you what the fuck, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. To Texas we go, where a stranded dolphin dies on a Texas beach after people try to swim with and ride it. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Say that again, Dave. I, I didn't. I think you cut out. I literally think you cut out. What? 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 Well, I'll just get to the story. A sick dolphin stranded on a Texas beach died after beachgoers reportedly tried to push it back oh. into the water so they could swim with it and ride on top of it. Oh. The nonprofit Texas Marine Mammal Stranding Network says she was ultimately stranded and was further harassed by a crowd of people on the beach, where she later died before rescuers could arrive on the scene. The network wrote in a post. Post on Facebook. Now, the Beach County uh, Park official said that animals become stranded on the shores of South Houston. Uh, the staff was called to keep the public away from the dolphin, but it died before rescuers could arrive from Galveston. Wow, I don't know much about Texas and like the geography, fuck, but what the fuck, people? A people dolphin are stupid. <laughs> a dolphin is stranded, and what did they decide to do? Write it. Try to write it. Like, oh, those people should be charged with a crime, right? Jump on it. Let's <laughs> do it. Ride it. My dolphin. <laughs> no, man. Don't do that. Don't. I'm sorry. Don't. Don't ride the dolphin and then harass it. Just if you see it, just either leave it alone or try to push it back out. Like you see all these videos of people helping sharks and and throwing them back in or or like a well whale they can't help but like seals or whatever. Just push turtles, pushing them back in and helping them out because they're in shallow waters, you know, or they get stuck on a rock or something. Don't don't try to ride the animal. Come on. You're horny. Let's do it. (laughs) Ride it, my dolphin. <laughs> my porpoise is waiting. Sorry. <laughs> All right, David, that's pretty fucked up. But uh, this one might be a little bit more fucked up. Actually, not as that, but it's Wait, pretty on, fucked on, up. On, this on. one. It's news. 
Okay, there we. I am glad you had to get that in. Yeah. Uh, Southwest passenger arrested for masturbating not once, not <laughs> twice, not three times. What? But four times during a flight. Yes, this happened. Uh, oh boy, this is this is a a man on a Southwest Airlines flight faces federal charges after allegedly masturbating at least four times during the flight. <laughs> the flight, Dave, was from Seattle to Phoenix. So, I mean, how long is that? Seattle to Phoenix? That's got to be like two hours. Yeah. So, God, okay. Whoa. Wow. Four, four times? times. Yeah. Now, did he, you know, complete all four? I don't know. Look, I don't really care if he did or not, but Antonio Sherrod McGarity is accused of masturbating four times in the seat next to a female passenger. The woman took photos. When McGarity fell asleep, she told the flight crew what happened. They moved her to another seat on the flight. The woman turned the photos over to Phoenix they police just, when the flight wait, hold landed. on. They just moved her? They're like, all right, sorry about that. We'll just, we'll yeah. just move I mean, you away do, from really? the masturbating guy. I mean, what can they do? Like, are they going to move him? Like, then he's going to go masturbate near somebody else. But they could have arrested him. Where's the sky marshal for this? He's literally exposing himself. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe he, I don't know if he was or not. Uh, if he was doing it under a blanket or something. I don't know. But it, uh, the woman turned the photos over to the Phoenix police when it landed. And when the FBI got involved and interviewed the man. Who? He says he, huh? Who, who, who involved, who interviewed him? The F the FBI. <laughs> nice, Dave. Good setup. Uh, he says he didn't think the female passenger was uncomfortable with him doing it, and he thought it was kind of kinky. Of course, McGarity he now- did. <laughs> McGarity is now facing charges related to lewd, indecent, or obscene acts. Well, I'm glad I just racked up my Southwest frequent flyer miles, Dave. News. Mugs, I don't think you're ready for this one. I don't know if I should just Y'all read the headline. Okay. I don't know if I should just read the headline or, or, or read the story because it's kind of uh, disturbing. You got to start with the headline then. Let's, let, let's, I'll tell you if I want. Yeah. Just start with the headline. All right. I'm going to read the headline and then you tell me if you want to hear the story or not because okay. it's really part of what the fuck news. Hit me. Four men ganged rape. And killed. Gang raped. Yeah, gang raped. Killed. Do you want me to continue? Oh, no. No, I don't. Well, I'm going to continue anyways. (sighs) And ate a protected monitor lizard. (laughs) Dude. What? (laughs) The (laughs) fuck? News. (laughs) News. <laughs> Why? Where? Where? Whoa. How? When? Okay. You what? know what a monitor lizard is, right? It's essentially Godzilla. Like like a Komodo dragon? Yes. They're just big ass lizards. <laughs> oh my Jesus. God. What the fuck is wrong with people, dude? Do you want to hear the story Seriously? or do you just no, want to no, leave it like that? F- yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. Like, like, just tell me where. Please don't tell me it was in America. India. (laughs) And and let me just read the headline once again. Four men gang raped, killed, and ate a protected monitor lizard. So, okay, I need a little bit more. Okay. Did they get arrested? Yes. (laughs) Yes. Are they in Indian jail? They are. They are, in fact, in jail. For, like, how long? Uh, (laughs) I don't know. I, I don't. It doesn't say. You oh, they're out. Really... They're out of bail. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, they're out of bail. Oh, they must have Gus going as a, a Out of bail. Too. Fresh out of jail. Got that lizard tail. What? Oh. I'm sorry. Let's just move on from this story. It's, it's fucking. I can't even make jokes about it. Oh, That's... my God. You must be really bored. You must be really fucking bored. Bored? Like You're life. stupid. Or st- something. Oh, well, fucking I... just criminally fucking not right in the head. Let me just read this part. Fuck, man. I have never seen a crime like this before. Uh, Division Forest Officer Vishal Mali told Vice World News. 
The men are in their 20s and 30s, and they have appeared to have done it for fun. There was no religious or black magic agenda. Jeez. What do you want to do today? I don't know. Look at that monitor lizard. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what's more offensive, the the act or your... No, your... there's nothing <laughs> offensive about me doing that when you're telling this story. Anything <laughs> I could do right now is not going to be as offensive as the story you just told me. So, yes, that is not offensive. That's oh. fine. I was doing an impression of a poo who is not even voiced by a white guy anymore. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, did you did you just calm yourself down with the Indian accent? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> well, that was what the fuck? news. Ah, Dave. Do we have something else that'll cleanse my palate of what you just read to me because oh boy. <laughs> well, um do you want to do a round of who's the dick? Yeah, I love who's the dick. Let's do some of that. All right. Uh, you might have heard this story. You might have caught wind of it. But to the skies we once again go to. Flying the friendly skies is not so friendly anymore, man. Especially mm-hmm. on when the day where I think everyone was supposed to be chill. 420. So okay. imagine you're on a flight and you see Mike Tyson on your flight, right? Yeah. And then this happens. This is George talking to Mike Tyson, bro. This shit crazy, bro. Mike Tyson. <laughs> My dog done got lit, man. He over here rapping with Tyson. Mike Tyson trying to give us some shrooms. <laughs> you don't know how to act. Tyson looking out, man. This shit crazy. He should have never gave you his money. Hey, 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 Mike, Mike, come on, let's go stop back, there's no mercy, man. That blue net flight, boy just got beat up by Mike Tyson, turn that way. Yeah, he got f***ed up. Just trying to ask for an autograph, man, I don't know what happened. No, he wasn't trying to ask now, for an autograph. Now, hold on, Muggs, now I gotta ask, who's the dick? There is so much in this story, by the way. Okay, I know. And I saw the video. And that guy who got beat up, who had the scratcher on the side of his head like a bitch, (laughs) wasn't he, like, just taunting the shit out of him? Out of Tyson? He was excessively in his ear talking to him. I don't know what was saying, what was being said. Now, Tyson's camp said that he threw a water bottle, which doesn't seem to be true, but... He was talking his ear off, and he said he must have said something to Tyson that made him snap because then yeah. Tyson just turns around and starts wailing on him. Now, yeah. so who's the dick? Is it the guy? Because the guy's obviously a dick for, for instigating all this, but right. is Mike Tyson also a dick for punching the shit out of him on Absolutely a plane? not. Absolutely not. In fact, Mike Tyson is, in this instance, a philanthropist of – uh, getting society back on track on how to act right in public because this is true. I read a lot of these comments and I totally agree with them, but the advent of Twitter and Instagram and social media and chat rooms, everybody's a keyboard warrior and they love talking shit with no sort of uh, repercussion. So I think Mike Tyson did the right thing. And you know what this seems to me is that the guy who was instigating it, he was like he was trying to look for a payday. Like he wanted this to happen. Like you imagine think so? him sitting, yeah. Like imagine him sitting. Oh, oh. Like I'm a, I, I'm, I'm a big enough douchebag. I could, I could make this work. I'm gonna have Mike Tyson beat me up so I could sue him for money. <laughs> yeah, because I saw the video, Dave, and that guy looked like I would have fucking turned around and fucking punched him. That guy was annoying as shit. What was he even saying? I, we don't know. We don't know what he was saying to him. But here's the thing, Muggs. Like, and that we, guy wasn't just going to ask for an autograph. And if if he did ask for an autograph, and Mike's like, you know what? Not right now. Like, I'm in my seat. I'm like relaxing. You know, like maybe after the flight or whatever. That guy has to respect what he says, dude. You can't yes, just like, of course. But he, here's why. I, no doubt that guy's a dick, right? No doubt. There's no disputing it. But here's why Mike Tyson is a dick too. Because there's no winner in this one. Because one, Mike Tyson is 
was a professional boxer and he's Mike Tyson. He should not be punching anybody in public, you know, in uh, on a plane. No matter how annoying he is, just like the girl who, who was next to the masturbating guy, just call a flight attendant and be like, move me, please move me now or yeah. else I'm going to turn around and beat this guy and none, none of nobody wants that. Now, right. the guy, I, I do not think he was looking for a payout mugs. He was drunk or, or on something because it was 420. But here's another reason why Mike Tyson's a dick. He was there as a representative for his weed company. He was yeah. in San Francisco at a 420 event, right? And that's the mm. least chill thing. Like, where is the, like, this, <laughs> that's the least chill thing to do. Shouldn't he, Maybe. like, just be smoking his own weed and, and just be calm? Like oh, some, sometimes it doesn't matter how much weed you smoke, you can still get pissed off. But I don't know, dude. Like, I think it's I think Mike Tyson is not a dick. Fuck that guy, dude. <laughs> not Mike Tyson. The guy talking shit to him. Yeah. The guy talking shit to that guy, dude. Just like, like, what did he expect, dude? Like, you're ta- What did the what did this douchebag expect? Like I'm just gonna pester the fuck out of Mike Tyson. I think and... he was just like wasted and kept going at him and until too much. He couldn't take it anymore. But I don't think it was like malicious on his part. I mean, I don't know what, what was said. I don't know what was said. So look, I, I I get all that. I get all that. Mike Tyson can't really be acting like that in public. Yada yada yada. But sometimes he just fucking had enough. That's right. And, uh, Street justice with beer mug. Yeah. So watch out. If you talk to beer mug the wrong way, he's just going to turn around and start smacking you. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm going to have Mike Tyson turn around and start smacking you. <laughs> but, dude, what a champ. I'm glad he was wasted because I'm sure the next day he's, he's going to feel it. <laughs> he's going to feel the punches. Man. He's an idiot. Idiot. Yep. Well, that was who's the dick. The guy. The guy bug, bugging Tyson, definitely. Eh, probably both of them. No. Right. <laughs> hey, Muggs, are you watching the TV? Yes, I am. You know what came back? Uh... <laughs> no, I don't. Mayans. Oh, that's right. The Mayans back are back, on, dude. On April 19th. Did you watch it? I did. I and, totally forgot. And here's one thing I could take away from the Mayans, and I think every guy and every girl will uh, agree with me on this one. Yeah. J.D. Pardo could get it. Oh, you'd go gay for him, huh? I wouldn't mean go gay. Just, you know, like something happened. I'd be like, yeah, fuck, that happened, right? <laughs> like, like, oh, okay, oh, shit. okay. Well, that yeah, happened. he's a good-looking dude. I mean, dude, you see his his like when he does his burpees and he hits himself in in the stomach and then does the burpees. Oh yeah, my God, that's uh, that's a man right there. So that, that's all I wanted to say is uh, my FX are back and JD Pardo could get it. But that's it. I I think we're pretty much done with this episode. I'm tired, dude. <laughs> and that was a gay moment with Dave. It's not a gay moment. It's oh, just it's an appreciation of a man. That's it. You you want to suck his cock? I do not. I do not. You but do. if it happened, you know, I'd be like, whoops. <laughs> what if it slipped into my mouth? I'd be like, well, oh, okay, I'm not going to be like, all eh, right, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, Janksters, thank you. Uh, We're going to slip out of your in. mouth now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to stick out of your mouth and. Uh, Let's do this. <laughs> Take a long look at our lives, and I'm going to try to find oh my wallet. Oh, my God. I hope I find my wallet. <laughs> I hope you find your wallet, too, man. Hope it's uh, not in the ass. Until next time, Janksters. Squish. <laughs>